peeps and welcome back to my channel man i haven't said that in a while um <laughs> i know i've had a long hiatus from making my videos i've just been really busy with work and i just haven't been like motivated to do my videos even though i've like missed it a whole bunch work has like kind of taken over my life and i hardly get to paint my nails even like my nails are naked right now um but I was invited to do this video, my faves for fall, uh, with this big gigantic collaboration. Everybody that is in the collaboration will be linked in the description below so you can check out their videos as well. Uh, I know quite a few of the YouTubers that are in the video. Well, I might not know them personally, but I watch them and they are really good. So you should check out all of them because they're great. But yeah, so these are my faves for fall, and I did intend to do swatches for each one of these, like live swatches, but I didn't get to it, unfortunately. I'm still trying to find a balance between work and doing my videos, but I plan to do more videos and to get the ball rolling um, with doing swatches and live swatches, because I much prefer um, live swatches to just showing you the polishes. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I have 12 polishes to show you. I'm not gonna be showing you them in any particular order. I'm just kind of grabbing them and showing you which ones are my faves. Of course, these are not all of my favorite polishes that I would like to wear for the fall, but I stopped myself at 12. I actually tried to cut it down to 10, but I was like, oh, I can't. So I had to do all 12. And because I have so many polishes, that's why I ended up not doing the live swatches because there are so many of them and doing live swatches for every single one would have made this video ridiculously long. So the first polish that I have to show you is by Revlon and it's called Divine. And it is this gorgeous vampy red shimmer polish. I have worn this polish before. I don't know if I have it on, on my Instagram, but I might. I think I wore it like in a mani, like uh, like a nail art. But it is so freaking pretty. And you can almost get this opaque in one coat if you do it correctly. But I always do two coats. But yeah really gorgeous vampy red perfect for the fall and Halloween because Halloween is just around the corner and Halloween is one of my favorite holidays besides Thanksgiving I really like Thanksgiving <laughs> I like to eat um, the next polish I have here to show you is by sinful colors I have actually worn this polish quite a bit the fill line is just kind of right here right under that little swoopy bit this is Sinful Colors Slay Me from one of their holiday collections. I can't remember which one, but it's only a few years old unless that was a redone, like redo. But this is a gorgeous like berry plum kind of crelly base with some gorgeous little flakies. They're kind of like goldishy. Her, like I don't know exactly what color the flakies are because of the colored base but they're like kind of a gold shimmer sort of effect it's kind of hard to see the flakies but it just looks like a shimmer but they're flakies they're just fire, very tiny fine flakies but yeah I love that polish my sister has also worn that polish the next one I have to show you is Butter London and this one is called shag <laughs> I just think of like shag carpet when I say that name or Austin Powers like shag me baby <laughs> um, but this is a really pretty bronzy copper shimmer really it, like it just makes me think of like the burnt like color of leaves a lot of these are very fall like leaf colors <laughs> I don't know why I was like gravitating towards those this year but I have worn this in a nail art on top of another Butter London, which is also in my 12 here. But yeah, really pretty copper bronze. Sorry if I'm a little all over the place. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm getting back into the swing of things. 
The next polish, moving right along, is Julie G's more carrots please and if you have watched any of my videos you will know that i did a video that included this one um of three julie g's that i got on a trip when i went to louisiana if you want to check that out i will have that linked in the description below or you can just go to my channel and watch it there my hair is doing something weird i apologize for my hair i have not cut it in ages it is growing out i haven't decided what i'm doing with it yet so i'm just letting it do its thing but this is a lovely gold yellow mustardy color and you can see the live swatch application in that video that i did the three julie g's so if you want to check that out again it will be in the description but yeah it's a really pretty gold yellow I didn't like have any yellows and I was like okay I have to have one yellow in this video <laughs> and out of all the yellows I have this is kind of like the only one that I would wear for fall to take a break between the polishes I totally forgot to mention my background is a little bit different I recently moved into a new apartment so this is my new space I haven't gotten like all of the stuff that I want up on my walls yet and my bed's kind of a mess, so just ignore that. Um, but yeah, I got my, um, my printout of Van Gogh's Starry Night. I got my two Harley Quinn posters, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then my uh, Rosie the Riveter, We Can Do It, she's right there. Can't really see her, but yeah, I'm still kind of decorating. Um, but yeah, I really like my new area. The lighting's not so great in here. I have like two lamps and my flash from my phone on right now, plus the outside light, which it's not very, the sun isn't really out out. It's very kind of overcast today, but better than it was last week. It was so rainy here. But yeah, I have no overhead light in this apartment for some reason. I don't know. I think it's so weird, but I haven't gotten a floor lamp yet. Anyway, moving right along, just wanted to like let you guys know about my new surroundings. The next polish I have is from Essie, and this is Playing Koi. I actually have the whole collection that this polish is from, which is, I believe, the... It's a spring... Oh, I think it's 2016. Spring 2016 by Essie that this collection is from. If not, I'll let you know down here if I was wrong. But this is a gorgeous burnt orange cream, which it's kind of like one of those ugly pretty colors to me. And I think it's just perfect for fall because it's kind of like a pumpkin-y color. Um, and again, good for Halloween. I <laughs> A lot of these I picked because Halloween colors and some of them I was like, okay, you actually have to kind of think of the whole rest of the fall. <laughs> Um, the next one I have is an OPI, and this is actually the only glitter that I have, yeah, the only glitter that I have to show you. This is OPI's Orange You Fantastic, and this one I picked up a few years ago. I've had this one in my collection for a while. Um, it's a l I've used a little bit of it. This polish is just packed with glitter. It's kind of a textured polish. And the base is yellow tinted, so it's not in a clear base, it's a yellow base. Um, it has silver, orange, and like kind of a darker red-orange hex glitters. The silver glitters are smaller, and then the both orange ones have small and then slightly bigger hex glitters. And I love to wear this over black, glossy, or matte. Like, it looks so gorgeous and just like, it's basically just all the colors of fall like all the fall leaf colors mixed together the next one i have is a covergirl outlast and this is called emerald blaze i do have a picture of this up on my instagram you just have to kind of scroll down a little bit it is by itself this is a gorgeous green emerald green and it has a gold a uh, gold a brown shimmer like shift it's a duochrome and fortunately I can't really get you can kind of see it right there the shift is amazing out in the sunlight it's just 
oh, it's perfect. It just goes from that green to that burnt coppery brown, which is just makes me think of the changing of the leaves. Again, more leaves. <laughs> I think I'm really like gravitating towards those like leaf colors because I live in Texas and we don't really get like a whole bunch of leaf or the leaves changing. We don't have a whole bunch of that because it's just hot. <laughs> it's hot during the winter. It's hot during the spring. It's hot during the summer. We might get a little bit of cold. It does actually get quite cold here, but we have summer and then we have winter. <laughs> the next two I have to show you are Butter Londons. So I have three Butter Londons in this lineup, which is funny because I only have four Butter Londons. <laughs> So three out of my four Butter Londons made it into this video. And this one is called Artful Dodger. And this is the one that I wore with Shag. So if you want to check that out, again, it's in my Instagram. I had this as my base and I used this for the nail art. But this is a really pretty um, kind of grayed out blue. It kind of makes me think of like rainy days or overcast days like today. Um, it's a gorgeous cream. I think it's about two coats. It, it is a little streaky. Um, the formula isn't like the greatest, but I love the color and it's so worth it. Um, but yeah, that is Artful Dodger. It's coming up more, it's like showing it like it has a little bit more green in there, but it's definitely a blue gray. And the next Butter London that I have is called Wallace and I actually first saw this polish when I was watching a Hannah Eves Nails It video. She hasn't been doing a whole lot of videos lately but I love her channel and you should check out her videos because she is just so funny and cute and adorable but when I was watching one of her videos I saw this polish and I fell in love with it and I actually found it at a Marshalls for $4.99. And we all know Butter Londons are like $15, so that's a great price. And this is a shimmery, metallic, swamp green. It is just so ugly and pretty. I just, oh god. And green is my favorite color, so of course I have, I had to actually try not to put like a whole bunch of greens in this video because <laughs> green is my favorite color. And I was like, oh, this green and this green and this green. Also with purple, green and purple. I was having issues with not like having a whole bunch of those in this video. The next polish I have to show you is a China Glaze and I actually have not worn this polish yet. Well, a few of them I haven't worn. I haven't worn plain Koi Wallace. Um, I've worn the Julie G in the video but I haven't worn it like since the video. Um, this one, but yeah, that's only one, two, three, four four out of no actually it's like i think i think half of them i've worn and half of them i haven't worn so six i've worn six i haven't worn yet so this fall i get to wear them this is choo choo choose you from the china glaze like train collection i can't remember what year it's from or what the name exactly is but i know it's like from that kind of train traveling uh, collection that they have and this color is very difficult to kind of subs like describe it's purple but also blue like it's kind of like a dark I want to say periwinkle but this is not periwinkle and then it has like this weird green flash in it it's such an interesting polish um like the flash is coming up kind of like bronzy copper right there but as you can see it's a very interesting color and I'm not exact um I have swatched it on a swatch stick of course that's different from swatching it on your nail um it is a little thin so I think it would probably take maybe three coats two coats if you do like um very thick ones but I actually can't wait to wear this and see how it looks on my nail because it's just so interesting and neat. Very different. Not something that I have in my collection, but I do now, obviously. And actually, I'm going to show this one first. The next one I have is another Sinful Colors. Um, 
I had two simple colors in here and then three Butter Londons and the rest of them were all just one from those brands. This is Sinful Colors Courtney Orange and this is a bright shimmery pumpkin orange and I had to add it even though I haven't worn it yet. Um, I have swatched it and it's kind of like right there where the fill line is but this is just like in your face pumpkin color and even though fall I tend to go towards like more dark vampy deep colors I had to include some a little bit of bright in there um, I'm that kind of person that wears whatever polish I want whenever I want so I wear these polishes throughout the whole year just however I'm feeling that particular day when I'm wearing my nail uh, painting my nails that's what I'm gonna paint it because I'm just kind of like, ooh, this is what I'm feeling today, so this is what I'm gonna wear. But I also kind of like to stay in the seasons and wear a little bit of like what is going on. But again, um, this is from the core, it's, I think it's a core line polish, but it's always comes around during the Halloween fall time. They always like put this with their Halloween collection. Um, and I picked this up a few years ago when Simple Color, I can't remember which Halloween it was, but I think it's been like two, three years and I haven't worn it. I have so many polishes. I actually recently counted my collection and I have, one second, <laughs> let me see. Okay, sorry, I had to look at my notes. <laughs> from counting my polishes, but I have 452 polishes now in my collection. That's not including minis. If I include minis, it is 487. So I have almost 500 polishes in my collection. It would have been 500, but I have actually de-stashed some polishes and given them away to friends and whatnot. But I'm actually quite proud of myself that I'm still under 500. I do have some polishes coming in the mail from Polish Pickup, but I think I only ordered two. I can't even remember what I ordered, but it was from the beginning of this month. So I'll be getting them pretty soon. Anyway, the last polish that I have to show you and definitely not least is the uh, from the Revlon Perfumery line. And I love this line. I wish they hadn't discontinued it because I really like scented polishes. I think they're just kind of like interesting to like have your like have your hand kind of like next to your face and it smells like flowers or perfume or the beach something like that but this one is wild violets so of course it smells like flowers i'm not exactly sure if it smells like violets because i haven't had my face in violets <laughs> um but this is a dark very very dark purple shimmer this is like eggplant purple it's just so dark and vampy right up my alley. I do miss my long nails because I love to wear dark vampy colors on my long nails and I feel like a witch or something like that. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. All right guys, those are my faves for fall. Um, I'm sorry if this video was kind of like all over the place. I ha again haven't done a video in so long so I'm a little rushy and a little out of practice and nervous and very happy to be doing this actually because I really, really miss doing this. I missed you guys. I missed all like all your comments and everything and I really hope you enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, let me know what I need to improve on seeing as I haven't done this for a while and definitely go down into my description and check out those other ladies videos because they are going to be fabulous. And thank you guys, you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time, bye.